Like the best time would be today to have Jesus come forward today and say, I'm going to be killed. And three days afterwards, I will be resurrected. There are several reasons why God manifested in Jesus Christ first came to the earth 2000 years ago and not now in 2020. Jesus Christ fulfilled over 300 prophecies from the Old Testament, the latest ones being written down hundreds of years before his birth, death and resurrection. Thousands upon thousands of early New Testament manuscripts, letters from early church fathers and important mentionings in early hostile non-Christian sources. The amount of manuscripts and documentation that we have of the New Testament is being referred to as an embarrassment of riches by scholars and historians. Nothing from antiquity comes even close. Written on handwritten manuscripts. So it's, it's, a, it's an embarrassment of riches. The amount of work and risk of life of handwriting and spreading these documents wouldn't be nowhere near as heavy and incredible in 2020 compared to first century and Asian times. Keep in mind, there was no such thing as modern technology, emails and copy machine. A lot of eyewitnesses to Jesus, believers and early Christians, endured severe persecution, torture and death for almost 300 years before the Christian faith, without using the sword, had taken over almost two-thirds of the Roman Empire and was finally legalized. There are a lot of video clips out there with miracles, many of which can be explained naturally or as hoaxes, but there are also a lot of them which appear to be nothing but a miracle. Strongest case are given by the loads of peer-reviewed journals and books on miracles, attested and documented by doctors, psychologists and other related experts in the field. But it's all the historical evidences for the resurrection of Jesus and the minimal facts around this event agreed upon by virtually all New Testament scholars and historians, Christians and non-Christians, plus the early rise of Christianity that gives so much strength to the case for that Jesus rose again and Christianity is true. His documented miracles 2000 years ago weighs heavier than any other in history. Even solid and documented miracles today in 2020 cannot top it. Jesus Christ physically walked the earth 2000 years ago and did miracles to be documented in ancient times and not now in 2020 for a reason. I mentioned some of them. His timing was indeed perfect for reliability and trustworthiness. Or don't you agree Mr. Barack Obama? Or perhaps you want to talk about something else? President Trump is a total and complete dipshit. Now, you see, I would never say these things, at least not in a public address, but someone else would. Someone like Jordan Peele. Comedian Jordan Peele actually produced this video to warn about the future of fake news. The technology uses sophisticated artificial intelligence tools able to turn familiar faces, even presidents, into puppets. Now there is software that can be purchased and done at home, and within a few days you can manufacture uh, what someone says. The message here that it's getting harder and harder to trust our eyes and ears. It sure is. Harder and harder to trust our eyes and ears. Harder and harder to trust our eyes and ears. Uh, one more thing, sir. A common objection is, what about miracles in other religions? Well, Christianity makes sense of that. Take for example Galatians 1.8. Remember that Christians also believe in the spiritual realm, the existence of the evil one and demonic forces. Check out this article for a bit more insight. And these two videos on miracles by Trinity Radio, done by Braxton Hunter and Jonathan Pritchett. Links are in the description box. I hope this video served you well, if so, please consider to subscribe, I make videos at least once a week, every week. Thanks for watching, God bless.